Welcome to my channel. Uh, I don't really watch Bill Maher. I don't watch uh, much of any of that kind of stuff on TV. Uh, but occasionally I run across it, and this is one that a friend sent to me, and I thought I'd play a little bit of it because I think he's so uh, completely right about this. So we're going to watch... Uh, New Rule America, Love It or Leave It. This is from Real Time with Bill Maher. But before we do that, thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them, for sharing them, for commenting. And thank you most of all for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. I'm very thankful for every single one of you. Finally, new rule, if you run for office in America, you have to want to live here. I bring this up because there was a video that made the rounds recently by a woman who said she was a proud progressive and was running for state representative in New Hampshire, and yet posted this. Is there a place we can move that people would be happy to have us, that we're not gentrifying or colonizing? I don't want to be a problem, but I need to get the fuck out of this country. The, the fuck out of this country. <laughs> the one you want to be elected to a leadership position in? What was your campaign slogan? America, a shining shithole on a hill? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Even prostitutes have to pretend they like what they do. <clears throat> Speaking of prostitutes, last August, Donald Trump... <laughs> Last August, he was uh, remarking on the great sacrifice he's made by offering himself up as our president again by saying, I could have been relaxing at Mar-a-Lago or in the south of France, which I would prefer being in this country, frankly. Again, I'm confused by this political message. Vote for me because I hate it here. <laughs> now, does America have big problems? Yes, I've often cited the America sucks list. Things like being 54th in the world in infant mortality behind Cuba, 19th in literacy behind Russia, 72nd in female representation in government behind Iraq. A lot of work to do here. And is it possible for a country to lose itself so much that leaving it is justified? Yes, but we're not there yet, not by a long shot. And we don't need quitters. We need people who will stay and fix it. That's enough. Obviously, as I always do, I'll put the links in the description and you can watch it for yourself. Bill has a great sense of humor and he uses it very deftly to slice through a lot of the hypocrisy of people in this message that he's talking about. But I just thought you should see that because <laughs> he's so right. He's so right. You know, it seems like every time uh, somebody like a Trump is elected, we get people on the left saying, uh, if so-and-so is elected, I'm leaving. And then they don't. Because they were lying. They're not, the, you know, I should have, I guess I should have kept playing it, but there's a place in there where he says, um, what I don't understand is why you're asking immigrants to come here and yet you want to leave. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, what? The message is totally confusing and hypocritical. But I just thought you'd get a kick out of it, so I, I brought it up for you. As always, for you, my listeners, I pray that you will be abundant, that you'll live a long life, and that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. 
This is the Vietnam era vet out.